to the greatest of the greatest, a podcast that you never knew you needed, with interviews from people you have never met, or maybe you have once or twice, asking questions and knowing more than you want to know about them. You are listening to Full Buddy Cast. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Buddy Cast. Full Buddy Cast is just a regular uh, special edition one. This is actually not special edition. What's funny is that uh, you know these would have been a, this would have been a normal a normal show because I just would take on random guests. And at the time when this started seven years ago, uh, June eighth, so it's seven year anniversary, uh, just. Just uh, under a hundred thousand streams, downloads. That's pretty cool. In seven years, so, um, but but seven years ago, it started out that if uh, you know we start an episode, it would be I would welcome my guest in, I would talk to my guest, and I would try to figure out like what was the ailment at the time. Hence the full body cast, like a full body cast, and I would just make it up. I would just kind of riff. And you know they'd tell me some symptoms. We'd have a conversation, and it always end up get like tied back in to what it was, you know. So uh, I'm not going to do that this time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it this time. We're gonna, we're doing a callback. We're doing a callback. Uh, so real quick, let me get the sponsors out there. We had a great full body cast Friday night. Uh, visited all of them. That's Mazatlan. That is Cole Street Brewery in Enumclaw. And that is also Bordeaux Wine Bar in Enumclaw. And the Mazelon was in Enumclaw as well. There's a theme there. It's all local. So uh, anyway, uh, I uh, oh, oh wow. I've got a little notification on my phone that uh, someone's in, in pain. And I, I, oh, I see him. Holy cow, it's my brother-in-law, Chris Shape. Chris Shape, why, what the heck? You're in pain? Oh, so much pain. What? Just crushed. Crushed? Oh my gosh. Well, we gotta get into this. So uh I gotta fill out these forms first and, and then we'll get we'll get to see what's hurting. But uh so I've already said it, but but uh, I gotta put it down on this chart. Uh what's your name? Chris Shape. And uh Chris Shape, where do you live? CeeLo, Washington. And then uh what how old are you? Old enough. I like that. Okay. I don't know. Uh, th- th- believe me, this is not being recorded. This is this is a lot of people get worried about the whole patient uh, doctor. Uh, the, the, you know, this is this is an app I have on my phone where you called into it. I'm I'm actually a uh, I'm on call. I'm an on call doctor right now. So again, none of this is getting recorded. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Um, and then what seems to be uh, what seems to be the issue? What so you say you're p- crushing pain? Where, where, where? Uh, here, uh, let me hand you this uh, this doll and and point to where you hurt. Where is it that you hurt? Well, I will point to the head. Oh, okay. Just a just a crushing headache. It sounds like. Uh, yeah. Uh, you could call it a headache. Um, serious emotional pain oh my goodness i don't know if i'm qualified for this but we'll dive in i do like this let me get the scalpel out uh we're gonna dive right in so here we go so chris is there anything recently that uh within let's just say a year or so or is there something in your future or is there something going on in your life that could be causing this headache and just walk me through that what, what do you think that is well i have a uh an amazing uh friend who is getting married okay um he loves his fiance and is willing to do anything for her <laughs> including a destination wedding Ooh, so you're gonna you're going uh you are going to a destination wedding where? And this is all and, true, by the way, guys. I know this is a bit, but we're going to get into the story. Uh, Spoil alert. This is just, in, this is, I'm breaking the third wall real quick. Chris told me the story. I'm like, dude, we got to record right now. Like, we have to record. And that was like two weeks ago. So this is recording right now, two weeks later after we saying we got to record right now. So this is true. This is all true. This is this is not a bit. The whole other thing that I was doing there that was a bit. Got to break the third wall there. Back 
back to pretending that that uh, I didn't say any of this, but this is all true. Chris, okay, so where are you going? Where are you headed? We're heading to the uh, the fantastic sandals resort, Ochi. Ochi. In Jamaica. Okay. I would, when I heard Ochi, I thought like Japan. It sounds like, you know, like, but it's actually like Jamaica. Ouchie. It's kind of ouchy. Okay, ouchy. You know, ouchy to the brain, ouchy to the wallet. <laughs> okay. The- <laughs> so... So you're going to this thing. How long did you know that you're going to this thing? This this wedding is it? How how far from now are we from this wedding? And how long have you known about it? We are two weeks away from the wedding, and I've known about it for well since November fourth. Okay, so it's about seven eight months, mm-hmm. and you bought the tickets immediately. It sounds like because uh, you wanted to be there. Good friend. Shout out to what's his? Can we go first name on him? Yeah, his name is Kurt. All right, Kurt. Shout out to Kurt on that. And so you're you're going down. How large is the party that's going down there? Uh, it's mostly his close friends, his family, and some of his fiance's family. So maybe thirty people total. And you're part of this intimate uh, thing, and and you're there for how long? Is it like a week or is a it like week? A week because you're mm-hmm. paying the money. Might as well be there for a week. And it, is it like a resort where you like it's all well it sounds like you said sand what was it sandals sandals and uh and so did you get the drink did you do the whole drink thing oh it's all inclusive all inclusive okay good so far so good so drinks food um turn down service everything and you said if i'm going to jamaica i'm gonna get jamaican me crazy (laughs) with all the stuff that jamaica has to offer and so uh, so you you're gonna go nuts. You're gonna go have a great time, uh, and the predicament though that you're in because every there is no free lunch. I mean, obviously you paid for this, but there, there every good thing you kind of almost have to have something that may not be. You may not know many people. You know Kurt. How do you know how many else do you, people do you know on this thing? Um, I know Kurt's family, his immediate family. Okay, so his parents, his brother, um, and then. Uh, there's a third friend of ours, another friend that's both me and Kurt's friend, uh, John, that is joining us as well with oh, John's his girlfriend. John's so. going as well. Okay, yeah. nice. That's good. And how long have you known Kurt? Like high school? Or is this uh... Uh, Kurt? I've known for about 15 years now. Okay. Um, and I met him through John. Okay. So, and I've known John for 25 years. So. Okay. So, so good friends. Oh yeah. Uh, tell tell give me a little history with you and uh, Kurt and maybe even John. Did you guys have, have you guys gone on any trips together? Have you guys is, or is this your first trip all together as well? This is our first vacation style trip. Um, the three of us are hunters, fishermen, um, avid shooters. So that's how we all really solidified the friendship is through that. Um, so we've gone, I just got done on a uh, fishing trip with, with Kurt out to potholes, um, him and his brother. And, you know, we, over the years we've gone on all kinds of camping trips and hiking trips and fishing trips together. It's just, it's the outdoor friends group. So I like that. That's a good name for it too. The outdoor (laughs) friends group. And so you're excited. You're going, uh, to probably save on cost, though, is this kind of where we're? Is that why this is going on? You're kind of tell us. Keep now. Now dive in. Let's dive in. So, when when you book a trip to a Sandals Resort, you cannot book a room by yourself. Not you. You can't just say, "Hey, I want a room. Give me a. You know, I'll pay for the whole thing by myself." It doesn't matter. They will not. You have to have two names. So, no matter what. No matter what. They are a couple's resort kind of place. Okay. So. Um, because of I'm, that. Because of that. When when Kurt called me, told me he's getting married, and uh, was like, I need you in my wedding. You need to be there. But here's the deal. It's in Jamaica. I was like, I'm down. Sign me up. I don't care what it costs. Yeah. Jamaica's not my first choice of places I would like to go, but 
I didn't get to choose where he's getting married. So, would you consider yourself a traveler? Like, are you? Do you like leaving the country? Do you like going on these uh, type of like resort cruises? Something to that effect. Yeah, I've been on uh, a number of cruises out in the Caribbean. Um, country music cruise with Brantley Gilbert. That was to the Bahamas. Did you guys have to share a room? <laughs> yeah, there was four <laughs> four guys in one room. Is that true? Yes, very true. But, you know, if you're on a country music booze cruise, you're not in your room. You are generally out and about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so so, but so, you, so you're traveling. You've done some traveling things. All yeah. right. And then uh, you like the heat. Do you, ever, do you ever go take a cruise up to Alaska? You ever done the old, like, fishing trip? Uh, not cruise, but like a guided fishing tour or anything like that? No, no, not yet. Bucket list kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Nice, nice. Alaska's a... I've been to Alaska once, but it was in December, and it was to Fairbanks, so... So, yeah, for what reason? Uh, visiting a friend. Oh, okay. Nice, so, nice, nice. Yeah. You got a lot of friends, Chris. You got, a lot, um, you got to spread all over the, 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 the continent, it sounds like. It, advantages of going to school out of state. That's true. That's so. true. You get to meet... A, where was that at? That was Wyoming. In Wyoming? Yeah. Where, I went, uh, where at? Laramie. Laramie. So I went to Wyotech. My, uh, that's great. Everyone just checked their phone right now when they're listening. My, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my uncle and aunt live, I want to say in Laramie as well. My, my cousin went to Laramie High School, played there. Uh, it's a pretty, we went, I went out there a few years ago in October, early October. No, September? Might have been September. Anyway, good time. Beautiful place. Not many people. Lots of driving. And uh, very flat at areas. Yes. Very flat areas. Highway 80 is flat and windy and cold. <laughs> um, so you're going, so you're, so you're staying, and, and do we know who you're staying? We, we got to that part. Do we know who you're staying with? So... This gets into the the more interesting part of the story. The the leads down the road to the the pain you referenced earlier. Okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. When you book at Sandals Resort, you have to have a roommate. Well, they generally want couples. Mm -hmm. Well, I was not dating anybody at the time. Um, figured I'd have seven or eight months to find someone. I mean, it seems like it'd be really difficult, you know. Hey, you want to go to Jamaica with me in seven months? I'm pretty sure I could find a female that would have been okay with that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's my, my boy's wedding. I, I don't want to just bring random. Um, and Kurt knew this when he called me. Uh, I think he uh, planned this a little bit. And decided to to let me know that he had someone in mind. Now, he wasn't saying, like, hey, you guys should date. He was just saying, hey, I've, we've got someone that you could room with for the week. Yeah, she uh, she was the best friend of Kurt's fiance. Okay, so, so. you're so now you're and, – and you guys are now roommates for a week. Now, when Jamie and I go to Vegas, she likes to get two – kings or she sleeps in one and i sleep in the other does this resort does this resort have the same sort of setup like where you have two kings on there two queens on this one oh no this is single <laughs> single king okay so i don't even i'm not even sure there's a pull out couch so you now know in your mind that this what this kind of entails but it's your boy's wedding you're a pretty amical amical I say that right? Am amical? Wait, you're, I, mean, I feel like Porky Pig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change amical. I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. And I'm gonna go to a different word. You're a pretty easygoing and easy to get along with guy. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're gonna be like, "This is my room. You can go someplace else, figure it out." It's like, no, you know, like I can get along with you no matter what. We're cool. You're not gonna come on to her. It's not gonna be something where you know. So, so you, so you. And then Kurt probably wouldn't have said that if he didn't feel feel that way about you. And so 
It wasn't a blind date. It wasn't like setting you up with someone, but it was like, hey, I've got a roommate for you, and she needs a spot too. So we're just, what about room and you guys? Yeah, together? she was in the same spot. She yeah. wasn't dating anybody and wanted, you know, obviously she's the best friend of of the the bride, so she needed a way to get there too. And so it made sense that we would explore the option, you know, and we both paid. We split the room. Yeah. So, you know, she's she gets her part and I get mine. Nice. Nice. So that leads to uh, how did you guys... I'm sure you guys, I know you guys already talked and all that. How did that cover? How did that go? Like, hi, I'm your roommate. I'm your college roommate for a week. Like what? So I had actually met her at Kurt's house one time before okay. last summer. Okay. Like, so I kind of had an idea of who she was, but no idea of anything about her. I mean, we just, we were sitting out in the backyard enjoying sunny weather and, drinks and playing some cornhole and stuff like we didn't get to know each other she wasn't open to that at the time so i was like well when kurt volunteered her name i was like well i should probably at least get to know this person that i'm going to we're both spending a lot of money to go you know enjoy a a trip to jamaica and our friend's wedding don't want it to be weird. <laughs> um, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually had Kurt give her my number so that she could reach out whenever she felt like at least just talking. You Say know? what up? Saying, hey, we should probably get to know each other. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. You know, so it's not. So then, so then how'd that go? Uh, yeah, we just. You know, kind of, it was really almost like a normal meet and greet on a first date. (laughs) It was really, it was really kind of crazy. We just text back and forth, a couple phone calls, you know, just to. Any you ups? Hey, you up? Those texts? Like, hey, what's up? You up? Oh, no. You awake? What you doing? It's 2 a.m.? None of that? No, no, none of that. Like a formal interview? I was scheduling a a, a in-person phone call and all that? (laughs) Yeah, it was definitely, you know, at five o'clock, I will call you. <laughs> we will talk for 15 minutes. I have yeah. no more time than that. Yeah. We'll get, no, it's not, you know. No, it was, uh, it was just more or less, you know, starting a friendship and maybe more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you guys, exp- you were willing that with, yeah, the idea float in the back of your mind that who knows, this might make it a little less awkward if we maybe, since you're single, I'm single. Explore the option of possibly dating. Um, yeah. As as we got to know each other more, that became a a bigger possibility. So. And so then, when would you consider? Now you're on the stand, right now. Would you consider that uh, you went on some dates? Uh, would you describe those dates together? We did. Um, hell, our first date was here in in the old claw. A casting iron. Oh yeah, that's so, right. I remember that. I think it was December or something. Went down. Mm, went down. November. Okay, November. Went yeah. down there and saw you guys there and had a drink, possibly or two, um, or maybe that was someone else's birthday. <laughs> you go. You guys. Your crew usually goes to casting iron quite a bit. I feel like for a few events. Yeah, we've been there four or five times and tried to do birthdays and things there because. It's fun. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome place. It's Throwing real- axes. I mean. And drinking. What can go? Yeah. <laughs> axes and drinking? What could go wrong? <laughs> the food's good, too. Uh, I'm not looking for a sponsorship, but hey, I will take one if you guys are listening, Casting Iron. Um, so anyway, so Chris, uh, so you guys went on some dates. Did you guys ever consider yourself boyfriend, girlfriend at any point? Yeah, I know. I know you guys are older, so it's not like you're teenagers I mean, and say, "Will you go out with me? Will you be my <laughs> girlfriend?" But would you have considered that you guys were pretty? At we were the, pretty exclusive, exclusive at yes. the moment at that time. And then, like all things, good, you know, not all things. Hopefully, not all things. But are you guys currently dating? No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> This is going to be good. I wish there's a reality crew that I could just pay with 
tea enchiladas and and cold street brewery <laughs> beers and bordeaux wine bar wines and just say hey go downtown or go down to jamaica i should say and just i want to capture this this could be the next bravo reality series of two people that at the time were going to share a room uh without the option of dating they didn't even think about that kind of maybe they're there but then they actually did, and now they have broken up. And does she have a boyfriend? Is she in a relationship at the moment? Well, that is something we we definitely discussed as we got to know each other. Is like, how's this going to work if it doesn't work out? Yeah. And we start when we started dating, and uh, you know, we gave the the PC re- uh, answers. Oh, we're both adults. Yeah. This is going to be fine. Right. I was like, well, I don't, I don't know how that works because. You can't, it's really hard to explain to the next person you're dating in between. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's my get- ex. I'm in a room with them for a week. This is like, sounds like a Netflix series. I know. <laughs> like, it, it totally sounds like some, I would watch this show. I would watch this show. Just to see the drama Just go to down. Just to see the drama, to see the reactions, to see if, like, well, maybe it will work. I don't know. Should we give it another shot? The whole thing. Or be like the opposite of like, I can't stand you. <laughs> On either end, that someone's saying, I can't st- I can't stand you either. This is why we'll... Ah. With, I mean, with the looming uh, etiquette that we are not just on our own vacation we yes. are at our yes. both our friends wedding so you gotta behave so you gotta be on your best behavior oh this is so good <laughs> this is not gonna be relaxing for you i don't think uh, that much like it's gonna be fun for you and it might be a little relaxing but but no. uh, let me just feeling i might be sleeping on the beach are you <laughs> are you guys gonna are you but are you guys cool right now like a little like would you what would you consider it a scale of um, one to ten, cool being like super cool, no, blah, 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 and zero like th- I hate your guts. This is not going to be fun at all. Where are we on the on this on the cool spectrum? I I would say probably a five. Whoa, right down the middle. Yeah, it's right down the middle. It's not. No, we we can chat. Yeah, and but we haven't chatted. But like okay, five text messages between when we stopped dating. Okay, and now. when was that? Let's just say when was the stop dating aspect. Uh, beginning of February. Okay, so oh my gosh, so it's been a few months. Now were those texts like never talk to me? I'll talk to you in Jamaica, was it, or was it like uh, it just kind of why you know whatever it is what it is, and we'll just see each other in Jamaica. No, actually nothing really oh, personal. Them. It was all trip related. Okay. Um, curious to see you know she's got some new boyfriend or something so i'm the only thing i care about is how did that conversation go yeah like because that would not be cool for me right (laughs) absolutely so and i don't know if we want to dive into anything else regarding your situation because you don't really have one yeah not not doing the i i don't want to put a a potential girl in that situation to have to explain that or deal with that, um, it, no matter what you say or how you act, they're still in the back of their head. You're going to Jamaica with your ex, like, yeah, w- and you're sharing a room and sharing a bed, yeah. Like, I don't think that's fair. So not fair to, to start anything up right away, especially with that looming over. So with, two weeks from now. No expectation, you know, at least yeah. then there's no expectations that can, right. you know, I won't, I like to think that I will be the perfect gentleman, but we are at a wedding and, you know, there's, you never know. And I just don't want to put somebody in that situation. I'm so. going to, I'm going to ask some clarifying questions. You've stepped into Joe Rogan's uh, podcast oh, right great. now. Uh, so when you say you don't want to put any expectations or something out there, you're, you, you're at a wedding. Are you saying that you guys could be sitting a- across the aisle from each other and casually looking at each other's eyes, and it might re- revive a spark? Or are you? What, what are you saying that? What are you saying there? No, I'm saying that there's drunken, yeah, 
and oh, so you might get drunk and be like, and like something, dance, you know, dance to even song. even okay, dance or so it's, it's or you end up having to like just don't want to have any pictures and things come out that you have to question or or be responsible to answer for. Gotcha. You know, okay. let's just not not put someone in that in that position to make them feel like they can't they can't trust you. Okay. So. I like that. So then so why start something if you're not, you know, if it's going to turn into uh uh some a potential of of a hurt feelings. Yeah, either hurt feelings or just a resentment or a a false step to start a relationship is not a good thing, so. Yeah. Well, all I know is that uh you are doing something absolutely incredible. I cannot believe that you uh, are in this situation. I really do wish I was a fly on the wall where I could just see just the you know the, the tension, the awkwardness, or if it's going to be super smooth and no big deal. Like I'm just super. So we're going to have you back on after this. We're going to talk. I want to see how it went. I want the stories. I want I want a well documented journal. I'll, I'll diary it every night. So, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up real quick. This is a quick special episode, but I wanted to really so on a scale. Of, I like the scale of one to ten. On the scale of one to ten, how nervous are you about this being? Uh, where you're not nervous at all is a ten that it, this is gonna turn into a shit show, or or and zero is it's going to turn into the worst shit show ever. And it's going to be on freaking Jerry Springer rip later on. Like, like what, like what's your, what's your uh, nervousness on this thing? Yeah. Maury Povich, you know, like you're at a you one, are, two no. right now. Oh, okay. No. Um, in all reality, I, I don't think she's pretty professional person. Okay. I like to think that I'm smart enough. <laughs> To know better than to do something stupid and can control myself. So, so what's the number? Five again? No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it eight and a half nine. Okay, so I you're mean, it's so you have you're relatively no anxiety, no no nerves. Probably the only thing is just is probably just that first interaction of like, hey, how's it going? This well, is this is my toothbrush on my side of the bed. Stay, right. stay on your side. Are you going to get weird with it and just bring masking tape or, or like painter's tape and just go right down? The, you do not cross this line. This half of this half of our room is mine. <laughs> You're just texting Kurt. She went, she's on my side. She's on my side. <laughs> yeah. she. That would be funny. And it, it might be super fun. That actually sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> I, just, I don't know if I'm going to, if they sell like painter's tape in the resort so or good. something. But we we might have to try to make that happen and get some pictures of that. So that would be good. That would that would be really good. Um, and now our, now sleeping arrangements. Now here's now. Will you guys share a bet if there's no pull out couch? You paid the money. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I paid just as much as she did. Right. Half that room is mine. Right. Um. I would like to think that we can be adults. Now with adults, even <laughs> if I was sleeping with my brother. Like we have, like I would sleep on the sheet and he can sleep under the sheet. Are you doing the whole sheet thing, or are you like, no, I paid for underneath the sheet. I I'm getting underneath the sheet. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to be underneath the sheet. At this point, because of things that have come about, I would, to be honest, like give me a pillow and a sheet and I'll lay on the floor. Oh, okay. But if it's that big of a deal, like I just don't want. Again, like back to what we said, Kurt's birth or Kurt's wedding. You know, I just don't want any drama. I don't want to, don't want to uh, cause any problems. So, uh, all right, we're going Jamaica. I'm looking up the Jamaica real quick. Jamaica, poisonous. Ooh, poisonous spiders pops up right away. Let's see if there are any. Oh, they have a brown recluse. I mean, you've been you've been around those. Uh, black widows, they have those mm. as well. Uh, huntsman spiders, they have those as well. Those are big too. 
Armed Spiders, Brown Widow. I never heard of a Brown Widow. While a relative of the Black Widow, this spider is brown. They have a mottled tan coloring on their abdomen with a black head. Uh, the Golden Silk Orb Weaver is there, known as the ne- Nephila Clavipes, commonly known as the Golden Silk Orb Weaver, Golden Silk Spider, or Banana Spider. Uh, you also have the black footed yellow sack spider. Now that you know that, uh, are you going to be sleeping on the floor now? <laughs> yeah, it would. I would like to think that uh, the resort has exterminators and bug sprayers. Hey, what I'm going to do as a favor to you, I'm saving these photos. <laughs> it's the, it actually has the seven top terrifying spiders in Jamaica. I'm going to send that to you so you can identify any of those spiders while you're trying to sleep on the ground. Uh, <laughs> I might be sleeping in the bed now. <laughs> but I'll, I'll go between the sheets. Now you know. Yeah, yeah. You got Okay, so you're... Comforter, sheet, and then there you whatever. Go. Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm glad that I can help. I mean, there. it is Ju- it is July in in Jamaica. How hot so is it supposed to be? Do we 90s. have 90s? Have you looked it up? 90s and super humid. Wow, so. that sounds terrible. <laughs> um, that sounds absolutely horrible. Hopefully, they have AC. Have you seen the picture? For as much as I paid, they better have <laughs> AC. <laughs> have you seen the picture of the room and all that? Can you, can you kind of like or like or the building that you're going to be in? Is it like a, is it like a tower? Are you in? So you're not. Like yeah, it's in- a giant. Some resort like, tower. Okay. So, I mean, the biggest fear I actually have is if I fall asleep on the beach or something. and the, Just caked on sunburn. Caked on sunburn or it's actually super dangerous for uh, Americans to travel to Jamaica and go off resort. Are you going to go off resort? Oh. Yeah, me neither. They I they won't let me. Barely leave this country. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me bring my, uh, my personal protection devices, so I'm... I'll leave it to them to keep me safe. I have no reason to go off resort other than fishing trips or whatever, and those are guarded. And You get extorted, too. They'll be like, yeah. oh, come over here. It's an extra 40 bucks. Oh, they'll and... kidnap me. Well, not nah, yeah. I don't know how much. No, no one, by the way, hi. <laughs> hi, here's reality. Travis, we, we, you, know, you get kidnapped. It's like, hey, you know, Chris is a great guy. He's but not worth anything. There's no money that we have. <laughs> I could maybe send some Amazon gift cards. No, I'll, I, I, how many tea enchiladas do you guys want? Yeah. Uh, a plate of tea enchiladas <laughs> and a, uh, a bottle of Bordeaux wine. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Hey, thanks. What thanks for taking want? them off our hands. What did you think of the... Uh, we're going swi- to switch gears a little bit before we go. What did you think of the Full Buddy Friday? Was that your first Full Buddy Friday that we did last night? Or did you No, I've been on a couple. Okay, cool. Um. Obviously, living on the other side of the mountains, I don't get over here as much. But. Yeah. I appreciate you uh, making the trip for it. Oh, they're I know, super fun. I know that's why you came. was for the Full Buddy Friday and, and the beer walk today as well. And, uh, are, and you're flying out the 16th? What is it? What are you flying out? Uh, we leave on the 23rd. Oh, so it's... For, it's two weeks. It's, from Two weeks from today, actually. It really is. Yeah, yeah. the 10th being today. That's crazy. Um, yep, and then you're there for a week, and you're back right before the fourth. Which I mean, it was a seven seven day uh, trip. We come back on the 29th, so it's like five days. There's a we leave on a red eye, get in Sunday morning, fly out Sunday, get there about halfway through, and then and then, he, and then you hit a huge like four day weekend if you want to use it as well. Yeah, um, another friend of mine is headed out to Mexico, so. I don't know if that four day weekend is going to be spent on this side of the mountains or the other side. So. Are are you, are you going to go to? Oh, you're not going to Mexico. You're no. You're coming over here to hang before they go to Mexico. Yeah, I'll probably stick around. I think they leave on the same day that I arrive. Oh, you just back. High, high five each other. Yeah. In, the, in the airport. High five. <laughs> Bet you, I, I kind of want to dare you to try that. Walk up to <laughs> high five, yeah. and then that's all you do, and then you just get in your car and drive off. That's it. Because they're at the airport, too. Yeah, that might be. But I think that's all you do. That, I do don't it. know if that's going to go over real well. You're going to do it. I'm making you do it. Um, all right. That well, won't be the only thing. That, yep, that'll be it. It's the high <laughs> five. 
<laughs> All right. Well, everyone, thank or thanks for listening. We're gonna have we're Chris. Chris and I are kind of under a time limit, kind of, not really, but a little bit. We're, I'm doing the VIP beer tickets thing, and so I'm I'm interested to see what that even looks like. I want to be showered and prepped and primped and prepared and pre determined of i want to look pimp i want to pimp i want to pimp myself out a little bit the king oh. of cole street needs to get us pretty king on of cole street should have got a chalice for this <laughs> for this beer walk how stupid of me for not doing think even we, thinking that we gotta right get now. you a, a beer stein a beer stein but i want it to be jeweled i want it like freaking <laughs> i want to look remember back in the day that's like man mid 2000s when all they had their pimp cup that was, oh, there you go. That was that. That's what Snoop. Everyone had their pimp cup. I, I should have got my pimp cup for this beer walk, dude. I'm an idiot. Um. Anyway, all right. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us. Have a great week, Chris. Uh, here's what I'm going to come to the uh, conclusion of your ailing headache. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay. Now, most people would probably say, "Ah, oh, it's probably because of what's coming up." And you've got yourself in kind of a headache situation. Not a big one, but just enough to be mildly irritating. I don't think that's it. Okay? I'm not going to write a prescription for that. What I think it is, is I think it sounds like a mixture of a few things. One thing is you had chips and salsa. A lot, a lot of chips and salsa yesterday at Mazda. Okay? Yeah. Quite a, you know, not quite a few drinks, but you also had some drinks too as well. A couple. Um, and then, I, but I really think is that you did actually get bit by a spider uh, right in the back of your head a little bit. You don't know this yet because I never sent you the scariest. Uh, uh, did you sleep on the floor or on a couch last night? Did you sleep on the floor? Or did you sleep on, on the on, couch. On, okay. So then that is probably what happened. Okay. I'm just going to say it right now. You probably got bit by a spider. And uh, so that's, that's that weird lump on the back of my head. That's the weird lump on the back of your head. Absolutely. It's the <laughs> protruding thing out of your head. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great week, Chris. You too. Uh, cheers. Uh, happy trails. Enjoy your trip. We're going to get you back on and you're going to give us all the low down dirty dirt of how uh, I, I need I need the highs and the lows. I need I need you to be completely honest. If you. If you stood up and made a fool of yourself because you're like, I can't stand how you snore. <laughs> I didn't know you're such a snore. You just yell and you just bre- you break. If it breaks you, like that's that's what I want to know. Because here's the thing: people put up when they're in a relationship, they put up with that crap, and they're they're okay with it because they know they might get a little something out of that relationship. You're getting shit out of this thing, so it may break you. You may be yeah. like, I, this everything you're doing right now is annoying because. And, and I would ignore it in the past because I could have got something out of it. I'm not getting nothing out of it. I never realized how annoying you are. Yeah, I need to know that. I need to know if or she did the same thing to you. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll go the other way. I want to know. I got to know. I got to know where, <laughs> with arguments. I got to know the, oh, wait, what a second. What if she like, comes on to you again? What do you do? I got to know what you're doing. No. I gotta know. I gotta know the good, the good and the bad. I gotta be a part of the whole thing. I'm living my life, in a sense, not my life through you, but I wish I was living it through a cameraman that was showing me what was going on in your life. That'd be so good. I need, I need a camera crew, guys. If you're listening, you want to be a camera crew. We can't pay at all. You got to pay yourself, and you got to somehow get to this resort. It was probably sold out, but you gotta go. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you could just be there that's all i want you just to put some cameras around and then we'll edit it later like survive won't even know you're there and looking around and that's it. all of a sudden like, oh, who's that camera heck? guy in the woods over there and, or that on? guy there's some dude out in the water with a camera <laughs> like eight mile telephoto lens yeah that's exactly what i want i want some paparazzi out there <laughs> following you guys around i'm not that cool I think I've said goodbye, have a great week a thousand times, so I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to end it. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Chris, enjoy your trip. Good luck. Happy trails. Keep us posted. Thanks for being on here. Thank you. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. Take care. I almost forgot. Got to mention all the uh, wonderful people that uh, support monthly to Full Buddy Cast. Uh, We've got Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, 
Eric Madrid, Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Sarver, Jared Skelly, Veronica Lara, Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts, Jamie Kenny, Jackson Zyduck, Desi B, Sasha Carey Lynn, Thomas Savageo, Anthony Wright, Sage Hills Golf and RV Resort, Cameron Stratton, Katri Hoban. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, the Full Buddy Cast community. I love you all so much. And it's always nice to get together. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys. You guys can go to Full Buddy Cast or go to Patreon if you want to support as well. There's a five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, or a six hundred dollar tier if you're so inclined. Only that's reserved for Andy Cardenas and Mazelon every so often that he'll pay that, which I appreciate. So please support him. Say hi to him. Uh, go down to Cole Street Brewery and say the same thing. Also to Bordeaux Wine Bar. And uh, anyway, thanks so much. Have a great week. Welcome to the greatest of the greatest a podcast that you never knew you needed with interviews from people you have never met or maybe you have once or twice asking questions and knowing more than you want to know about them you are listening to